Hey, let's go ahead and come on down to a half kneel position. So we know this stretch pretty well. We typically use it with a hip flexor. All right, so uh, if you can, let's go get that right knee down. Sorry if you already put your left down. Right knee's down on the ground. And we're going to try to get both those hands down to the floor. So you're going to feel a little bit of a stretch in that left hamstring right off the bat. And I want you to take those hands or those fingers behind the head, so that right hand, and we're going to open up the chest, and then we're going to take that right the elbow under and through the hip, and then back of you, five strong reps, opening up, breathe in, exhale as we come down, three more, breathing in, one more if you're with me, really open up that chest, Big breath in, and taking that elbow under and through, and then reset. Let's go and switch out those legs. Right foot comes forward. Hands come to the ground first, so you're going to feel that hamstring get a little pull on it. And we're going to take that left hand behind the head, and let's open up that chest. Big breath in, and tuck underneath. Big breath in as you open up. Exhale as you take under and through. Three more. Open up, big breath. Let's go one more. All right. Let's come on back up to the next tall position. I want you to find your athletic stance, all right? Don't go too crazy wide, but you don't need to be narrow. Whatever your athletic stance is, that's why I want you. All right. Give me a nice, strong hinge. You're just going to drive back. You're doing a kettlebell swing or an RDL. That's what that hinge feels like. And I want you to stand tall. Now it's going to be a nice little air squat, pulling the hips down, back up, and right foot steps back, lunge, left foot steps back, lunge. Let's go four more reps of that. Strong hinge, stay fluid. Strong squat, right foot steps back, left foot steps back. Strong hinge, strong squat, nice lunge, nice lunge. Two more, just like that. Hinge, squat, nice lunge. Nice lunge, strong hinge, strong squat, last time lunge, last time lunge. All right, so we should feel a little warm by now, but let's get into kind of our prep work. I want you to take a nice big old stance for me, and I want you to pull those hips down towards that right heel. So we're going to load up that right side, staying low as we transition, rocking over to left, over to right, left, staying low as you can, right, five more. Left, right, last three, left, final time right, final time left, go ahead and stand on up, now let's take those hands on down to the floor, find your plank position for me please, All right, once we're there, once you get that left foot outside of that left hand, breathe, strong placement, you need to turn out a little bit, that's fine for now, All right, let's take that left foot back, right foot, right foot back, left foot, Left foot back, right, right back, left, left back, right, four more, right back, left, left back, right, right back, left final time, take it back, right foot final time, take that right foot back, go and drop those knees, and then let's come on over to a seated position. All right, so we're going to spend a few seconds just in our all-training 90-90 with our hands on the ground, our all-training shin box, we also call it. All right. So let's take that left knee to the ground, right knee follows, nice and easy. Right knee goes as far as it can until left knee needs to follow. Hands are still on the ground. Left knee comes back across. Right knee follows once it has to. And let's go one more right knee. Left knee follows. And now reset. A lot of you have done this one with me before. If this is your first time, things escalate quickly. Drive those hands out. Brace the belly. Now your left knee goes to the ground. Right knee comes across. Left knee comes back. Right knee comes across. Let's go one more each direction. Let's make sure we're nice and primed on this one. Left knee comes back. 
press into the ground. And then last time, that right knee goes as far as it can until the left has to follow and relax. All right, so those three movements that we just did are really going to play into what we're working through today. We really only have three movements we're working through. We're about five minutes into class. It's going to take us about 12 minutes to get through the rest of this uh, the active part, and then we have a nice little finisher at the end. And uh, if you want some extra credit, y'all just let me know. We can throw an extra round. And then we did uh, last Friday. All right, so let's go ahead. Take it on up top for me. We're going to start slow. All right? Wide stance. I want you to pull down to that left side this time, that nice, strong lateral lunge. And now I want you to look at your right foot. All right, we're going to take those hands inside of that right foot. So you're going to pivot that left foot. Now right hand goes to the sky. Right hand comes to the ground. Coming back to center, stand. Right side lateral lunge. Look at that left foot. Hands go to it. Pivot that right foot. Left hand to the sky. Back down. Now we're going to start trying to pick up pace. Back to center. Load up left leg. Lateral lunge. Look at right foot. Reach, drop inside, right hand to sky. Right hand comes back down, back to center, load the right, look at the left, back over, drop hands, left hand to the sky, and back down, back to center, load left leg, look at right, take it on over. We're halfway through, we're five reps in. Right hand comes down, back to center, load right, look at left, hands come to the floor, Left hand to sky, allowing the hips to open a little bit, back to center, load the left, looking right, hand to sky, back down, back to center, load right, looking left, awesome y'all, left hand to sky, bring that hand back down, back to center, last time loading left, look at right, hands come to it. Right hand to the sky, right hand comes down, back to center, load right. For the final time, looking at that left foot, let's take it on over, let that right foot pivot, left hand to sky, back down, back to center. Hips are primed. All right, let's take it on down to our plank position. This one's going to be a little fun, a little tricky. All right, plank position. A little while ago, you did that runner stretch, okay? That's going to feel really easy now to those lateral lunges. Instead, I want you to step that foot, maybe about hip height, and I want you to turn that foot all the way out, all right? And I want you to drop down to your right hip, so a line position, that left foot slide on the ground, and now I want you to extend that hip to the sky as you reach over, pulling back down, back to plank, left foot comes back, right foot steps forward, Drop that left hip all the way to the ground. Reach that right hand overhead. Point back down. Hand to ground. Right foot comes back. Left foot steps up. Now we're still taking a pace of here. Drop. Reach. Pull down. Back to plank. Right foot steps up. Twist. Drop. Reach. Pull down. Back to plank. Left foot. Let that foot turn out every time. Twist. Drop the hip. Reach that left hand overhead. Pull back down, back to plank. Right foot steps up. Twist, drop the hip. Reach overhead. Back to plank, four more. Left foot steps up. Twist, reach, strong reach. Really feel that oblique. Back down to plank. Right foot steps up. Twist, drop the hip first. Reach overhead with the right. Pulling back down, back to plank. Last time left, twist and drop. Reach, drop, back to plank, right foot steps up, twist, drop hip, right hand reaches, pull it back down, back to plank, drop the knees, relax. All right. So let's come back over to seated position. During our prime work, our prep work, we worked our alternating shin box, we went hand free. We're going to do the same, but we're adding an extension. If the extension is too much, just give me hands free, all right? Left knee goes to the ground, right knee follows, brace the belly, and I want you to reach those hands forward as we drive the hip forward, squeeze through that right glute, actively pull back down, feet switch over, extend through the hip, squeeze that left glute, actively pulling back down. We're going five on each side. Pulling back down, switching over to right, pressing through the knees, 
use those hands to help stabilize and actively pull you forward. Yes, four more. Two more on each. Left side. Pulling down. Right side. Pulling down. Left side. Pull down. Last time, right. Pulling down. Quick relax. All right, let's take it back up top. So we know the movements now. Hopefully I can chew a little less and you start feeling a little more fluid with these movements. All right, so let's give me that big old wide stance. Then we're going to start off loading up that left side, that lateral lunge. Look at that right foot, that beautiful right foot. Hands come down, right hand to sky. Right hand comes down, back to center. Pull down to the right. Look at the left. Transition over, hands to the floor. Left hand to the sky. Left hand comes down, back to center. Low left, look at right. Right hand to sky. Back to center, load right, look at left, pulling over, drop hands, left hand to sky. Back to center, load left, look right, hands come down, right hand to sky, we're halfway through. Center, load right leg, look at left, transition over, left hand to sky, pulling back down, center, load left, look right, hands to ground. Right hand to the sky. Pulling back down, back to center. Loading right, looking left. Pulling on over. You know the drill. Take it back to center. Load left final time this round. Look right. Pulling over. Right hand to sky. Pulling back down. Center, load right final time this round. Look left. Transitioning over. Left hand to sky. Pulling down. Let's take a center. All right, so let's kick it back down to plank position. All right, same drill as we did before. We're going with that half step, but we turn that foot out as we step up. Big breath for me. Plank position. Left foot steps up, about hip height. Toes turn out. Let's drop the hip. As we pull that left hand towards the chest, reach over heads, extend through the hip. Point back down, back to plank. Step forward with right. Rotate. And extend and reach. Back down. Back to plank. Left foot steps up. Twist drop. Extend. Pulling down. Back to plank. Right foot steps. Drop and twist. Extend. Pulling down. Back to plank. Left foot. We're halfway. It's rep five. Back to plank. Right foot. Drop, you know the drill, extend, back down, four more, left foot steps, twist, pull that left arm, extend all the way through, linking to the body, pulling back down, back to plank, right side, same intent, pull that right hand, and now press, pulling down, back to plank, left foot, final time this round, plank, Switch, right hand reaches, bring the hip down, bring back the plank, drop the knees. All right, we know what's next. Let's come on over to that seated position. Now I mentioned today's theme is hip strength. Forgot to mention that. All right, that all chain shin box setup. Knees go to the left. Work that extension, squeeze, pull down, strong switch. Strong transition, right side, full extension. Point down, left side, point down, right side. Coming from rep five, already halfway through this one. It's the quickest of our three movements today. Right side. Left. Right. Last time left. Last time right. And relax. Quick breath, and we're going to take it back up top. So this is going to be our final round. If you need to go faster, you can go faster. You need to slow it down, slow it down. 
All right. If the hip extension is too much for you on that all train shin box, don't do the hip extension. All right. Any portion that you need to break down, you break it down. All right. But we're going to run through this one final time. Hopefully we feel a little stronger. We feel more confident. Wide stance. Low to the left. Look to the right. Pulling over. Drop hands. Right hand to sky. Pulling down. Center. Right side loaded. Left foot. Left hand to sky. Going down. Center. Low left. Look right. Right hand to sky. Going down. Center. Right leg. Look left. Left hand sky. Center. Low left. Already in breath five. Look right. Transition over. Right hand to sky. Back to center. Load right. Look left. Pulling over. Left hand to sky. Back to center. Load left. Look right. Right hand to sky. Pulling down. Back to center. Load right. Look left. Pulling over. Left hand to sky. Final time, left side. Low left. Look right. Point over, hands to floor. Right hand to sky. Point down. Center, final rep here. Low right. Look left. Transition. Reach. Point down. Back to center. Reset. All right. All right, those out of the way. Let's get on to that plank. All right, this one's going to be a little tough on the hips, a little tough on the ankles if you're barefoot. All right, so make sure you're pacing yourself and you go a little slower. All right, plank position. Left foot steps up. Pull that left hand as we drop the hips and add that extension. Point down. Plank. Right foot. Pull. Extend. Pull. Plank. Left foot. Pull. Extend. Pull. Plank. Breathe. Right foot, twist, extend, pull, plank. Rep five coming up, twist and drop, reach, drop, back to plank. Right foot, twist, reach, pull, plank, four more. Left foot, drop, reach, drop, plank, right foot. Twist and pull, extend, pull, plank, left foot, drop it, reach for the final time, left side, back to plank, right side, plank, relax, all right, fourth round ain't happening today, y'all, this one's actually eating up a lot of time in a great way. All right, I'm hoping you're feeling a little something by third round. All right, feet tucked in, knees go to the left, extend through, squeeze the glute, squeeze that ribcage, point down, transition over, extend, drop, extend, drop, extend, drop, rep five coming up. Extend, drop, extend, squeeze, drop, one more. So really think about that belly, strong through that rib cage, strong through the hips. And relax. All right. I'm hoping the hips feel a little loose by now. We're going to get up in just a moment. Take a couple deep breaths for me. Probably shouldn't be skyrocket. Body temperature should definitely be up, but you may not be absolutely short of breath. We didn't have that type of that purpose of intensity today. So hopefully the volume of this, we might feel a little something more. All right. Let's take it on up. Maybe we can see how deep we can squat now, if anything. All right, let's take that right knee to the ground. Let's work that hip extension. So pull that belt line towards that belly button first. So tilt the hips. And then we're going to slide forward. Let's get that stretch for the hip flexor first. 
I know it's going to add that lateral reach as well. And just I'll kind of touch on this every class, so make sure we really reach first before we start trying to take it laterally or take it across the body. I do encourage you to stay in this stretch a little bit longer for time's sake. For anybody I am going to lose really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and switch. But if you're not short on time, I'd like for you to stay on that side a little bit longer. Belt, belt line to belly button. Get that hip squared away first. Then draw, then reach. Again, if you still have time, stay in that stretch a little bit longer. My last recommendation, almost with every class, is going to be some wrist decompression. So palms to the ground, fingers towards you, working about five rocks in that direction. And then if you can, spend some time, at least with that back of that hand to the ground, just breathe on each side. If you want to work that, that flossing technique, work a little external rotation, you certainly can.